In this lesson, I will talk about the removal of a finite number of terms from a series. Okay, so basically if you have a, a series that's either converging or diverging, and if you remove the first few terms, the first finite set of terms, that series will, will still converge or diverge. Okay, so for example, okay, if you, let's say you have a series, it's Okay, let this be S. So let's say that you have terms A1, A2, A3, A4, and so on. And these are, let's assume that this is converging to L. So if you remove, let's say we remove the first few terms. Okay, let's say we remove these three. Okay, then S, okay, so S will still converge. Okay, it will converge to something different from L, but it will still converge. Okay, so if you remove these, let's call this S, uh, let's call this a different letter, let's call this um, T. So T starts from A4 now. Okay, so it's not going to converge to L, but it's going to converge, it's, it's going to converge to something else. Let's call it M. Okay. But at least we know it still converges, okay? And that's true for, for any, any series, whether it's converging or diverging, okay? If the series is diverging, and if you remove the first few terms, then the series will still diverge, okay? And I want to illustrate this in, in an example here. So let's say um, we want to find, okay? Or let's say we have... Mm, let's see. Let's say we want to find the summation from n equals 4 to infinity of 1 half to the n. Okay. So what we can do here, say we can go ahead and find the uh, summation going from 0 to infinity, and then we can calculate the, uh, the summation going from 0 to 3 and then subtract those out, and then that will give us the summation from 4 to infinity. Okay, so let S, let's S be the summation from 0 to infinity. So in other words, let S be the infinite series of 1 half to the n. So for S, we can rewrite, okay, we can rewrite S as the summation Let's say go from 0 to 4, let's say go from 3 of 1 half to the n plus summation from n equals to 4 to infinity of 1 half to the n. So all, all I did was to break up the summation, to break up um, s into two parts. Okay, so we can figure out the value of S because S turns out to be a geometric series, okay, with a ratio of one half. And then we can calculate the summation, the finite sum from zero to three, and then just do the difference to figure out the summation from four to infinity. So let's first figure out what the, uh, what S is converging to. So like I said, this is a geometric series with R equals to one half. And since R is less than one, it's converging. So it's going to converge to 1 over 1 minus 1 half. So that's going to give us the value of 2. All right. Okay, so now let's uh, calculate this finite series. Okay. So we have the summation from 0 to 3 of 1 half to the n. So when n is 0, we're going to get 1, plus when n is 1, we're going to get 1 half. When n is 2, we're going to get 1 fourth. When n is 3, we're going to get 1 eighth. Okay. So adding these up, okay, we end up getting, so 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth. That's going to give us 15 eighths. All 
Okay, so now uh, let me copy this equation down. Okay. All right, so that's there. So now, so we said that S, so S was approaching two. And this finite series was approaching 15 eighths. Okay, so now we can find the series from four to infinity. Um, just, oops. Just call this x. Okay, so then we can solve this. This is going to be 2 equals to 15 over 8 plus x. So solving this, we're going to get x will be equal to 2 minus 15 over 8. Um, so that's going to give us 16 plus 15 over 8. So that's going to give us 1 8. Okay, so therefore, the summation from n equals 4 to infinity of 1 half to the n is 1 8. Okay, All right, so this, the, the main importance, or the main idea for this was that uh, we had a series, we had an infinite series from 0 to infinity, and that converged to 2. We also had this, okay, if you, over here, we just showed that the series from 4 to infinity, okay, converges to 1 8. So that shows you that by truncating or by uh, removing the first, we remove the first four terms from 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. So removing the first four terms from the original series, which we call S, doesn't affect the uh, convergence okay it will converge to a different value like I said before but it will still the convergence that's left will still or the value that is left the series that is left will still converge okay and that's the whole point of this uh, uh, of this statement at the top okay so again the convergence or divergence of a series is not affected by the removal of of the or of a finite number of terms from the beginning of a series Okay.